Long Beach is one of the most overlooked cities on the West Coast. As a city in the shadow of Los Angeles, it doesn't get a lot of love, but I think Long Beach has several fascinating aspects to it that make it a respectable city in its own right. In this series, I briefly hit on a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make it unique. Now, let's meet Long Beach. I always like to start by exploring how a city wound up being where it is today. Long Beach is located on the San Pedro Bay about 20 miles south of Los Angeles. The first European to the area was Spanish explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, who arrived in the area in 1542. He called the area Bay of Smokes because of all of the smoke signals the Tongva people used to communicate from what is now known as Signal Hill. The first settlement wasn't built there until 1882 and was known as Wilmore City. Six years later, the growing city voted to change the name to Long Beach in part because of its long, wide beaches, as well as to promote the city as a seaside resort town. The city soon experienced tremendous growth with the discovery of oil in 1921, and Long Beach's seaside boardwalk, known as The Pike, became the most famous beachside attraction on the West Coast. Long Beach has grown to have a population of around 467,000, making it the 41st largest city in the country, just behind Raleigh, North Carolina, and just ahead of Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's the seventh largest city in the state of California. I think metro population is more indicative of a city's true size, however, considering Long Beach shares a metropolitan statistical area with LA, it's not a helpful measurement in this instance. Part of Long Beach's size can be attributed to the fact that it is a major U.S. port city. The Port of Long Beach is the second busiest port in the country, only trailing its neighbor port of Los Angeles. The port employs over 300,000 people. There aren't a lot of recognizable companies headquartered in Long Beach, the most probably being Molina Healthcare. There are 11 colleges and universities located in Long Beach, including California State University, Long Beach. Call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why evaluating a city's skyline is my favorite part of making these videos. Long Beach's skyline is nothing to get overly excited about. With that being said, last year a new building named the Shoreline Gateway became the tallest building in the city at 417 feet. I think it's a nice looking building. If you took the average height of the city's tallest five buildings, Long Beach would be ranked as the 67th tallest skyline just behind Dayton, Ohio and just ahead of Reno, Nevada. Sitting across the harbor from the skyline is the RMS Queen Mary. This massive ship was at one point the most luxurious ocean liner crossing the Atlantic. The Queen Mary is 1,018 feet long, which for context, the Titanic was only 883 feet long. When constructed in 1934, the Queen Mary had the largest rudder in the world at 150 tons, as well as the largest room on a ship, its dining room, which could seat 800 passengers. It made over 1,000 transatlantic crossings during its career. Since its retirement in 1967, it's been in Long Beach, where it is now a hotel and a museum. Adjacent to Queen Mary is a giant white dome with a fascinating history. It's where the world's largest wooden airplane, the Spruce Goose, was held. The Spruce Goose was a massive plane with the longest wingspan of any plane in history until 2019 when this plane with twin fuselages claimed that title. The Spruce Goose only made one short flight in its history, which was in Long Beach. I believe the dome in Long Beach also claims the title of largest freestanding aluminum geodesic structure in the world. Earlier I had mentioned the importance of oil to Long Beach's growth in the 1920s, and today one of the strangest elements of the city is connected to oil. Off the coast of the city there are four man-made islands known as the Thumbs Islands that each camouflage an oil derrick. These islands, which are all named after fallen astronauts, have tall concrete structures covering the oil derricks so they aren't such an eyesore. The architects of the islands had previously worked on Disneyland, and they used landscaping and waterfalls to mask the operations on the island. They are the only decorated oil islands in the United States. The first man-made rowing course in the United States is the Long Beach Marine Stadium. It was created in 1932 and has been used in the Olympics in the past and will likely be utilized in the 2028 Summer Olympics in LA. 
The longest running major street race in North America is the Grand Prix of Long Beach. The race was started in 1975 and is typically held in April. The circuit goes primarily over the Pike Amusement Zone, which I had mentioned earlier. And although the Pike isn't as iconic as it used to be, today it's a nice waterfront area around Rainbow Harbor with shopping and attractions. And to finish, I have to mention Walter Pyramid on the campus of Long Beach State University. As one of only four mathematically perfect pyramids in the United States, it is certainly one of the most unique sports arenas in the country. Well, that wraps up my video about Long Beach. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. Thanks for watching.